Hey guys, Trusky here, and today we're back with some real raids in Tarkov. Um, I have done a few episodes like this in the past, especially around the wipes in Tarkov, and I have to admit, I have enjoyed this wipe the most out of any wipe in Tarkov yet. I think Tarkov, and and some of the some of the hardcore Tarkov fans might maybe disagree, but I think Tarkov is the most balanced it's ever been in a long time, and the maps are as good as they've ever been, and the quests are not that aggravating which is <laughs> which is pretty difficult to do good job battle state um but today in particular we're gonna be running the nine millimeter vector this thing is pretty sweet it takes uh the glock big stick mags which hold 33 rounds a piece and uh yeah it's pretty cool i'm gonna do a scav raid first and i'm gonna give you a timestamp right now of the end of that scav raid and when i actually start the vector raid because i don't want to clickbait you so if you want to go see the vector in action you can go to whatever timestamp i have right now but for my first uh, raid in particular, we're gonna do a scav raid because these are real raids. These are the raids that if I die or if I don't die, it doesn't matter. I'm still gonna make it part of the video in the end. So we're gonna probably do like a scav raid and then two PMC raids or something, something to warm me up. Then we'll get into the big action. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. By the way, if you like me playing the game more raw like this, then definitely check out my Twitch. It's uh, at the almost like I think it's might not be the top, but it's in the description of every single video if you'd like to check it out. Um, I don't know where to go. Let's go customs. The customs expansion is very good for some, um, some some pretty solid kind of like middle tier loot, especially if you get into the meth lab area, the fortress barn, all the new area f uh, of of customs is pretty dang good. And this is a okay kit. I think this is a 762 by 39 AK. I'm gonna have to check which ammo is in this, but no stock. This guy chose to not bring a stock this time, so we're gonna struggle with that. This is a very weird looking guy. <laughs> very interesting looking scav. But we've got a Triton vest, so we've got some carrying capacity and a little blue backpack, the hiker backpack. Okay, oh, it's raining. Okay, that'll be a little tough for us. We have a bandage, we have four magazines of 762 PS, not terrible, not FMG, or not a. Uh, not a tracer rounds, but it's gonna be loud out here. Very loud daytime scavern here. Oh, actually, the building I spawned in has some decent loot. Let's go up there and check really quickly. Is that a crate? Nope. There's some good jackets up here. And man, jackets on customs, they spawn some good stuff. You guys should search every jacket you can in this game. Um, that was not a good example. Don't look at that. I'll just, you know, it, I'll just cut that out <laughs> of the video. Um, but yeah, man, I really like this this wipe. They've added a lot of smaller loot that's actually worth it, like bolts and s just just small little pieces of loot are so much more worth it to grab. Cause that <gasps> nice. <laughs> That took down the recoil on this gun by a lot, I guarantee. Let me see what that does to recoil. Negative 32%, yeah. Dude, what? The one thing we find is that? Oh, that's a vector barrel. We could use that in the vector rate, I guess. There, oh, look in this bathroom. This is kind of funny. There's a toilet on his head. He's not siren head, he's toilet head. Um, a little sleepy, nice little place where you sleep if you want. Um, all right, nothing else up here. Well, usually those jackets have better loot. I would say that's that's a, kind of a regular for two jackets just to have nothing. Maybe, maybe someone walked by and looted those. Sounds like there's a Mosin at Old Gas Station. Um, good chance that that's a PMC. So I'm gonna go run over there. How much time do we have left? 32 minutes. So this is kind of the start of the raid. Maybe eight minutes. I think it's 40. Is it 40 or 50 now? I don't remember. But last wipe, the raids, especially the raid timers, definitely felt rushed. So I think they had to force the raids to be shorter for network performance. But now it's a lot better. See if I can just walk in unnoticed. Sounds like there's a fight going on behind this fight too. Ooh, the rain stopped. Okay, I'm just trying to slink my way back here. 
Trying to get to a spot where I won't be expected, hopefully. I also don't know if these people are wearing contacts or anything. So I'm not going to be able to hear footsteps at the range they can. That's in the new barn, the fortress. That's the HMG, the emplacement. Can I search this bag before we breach that? Just for any meds? Like an IFAC? Okay, splint. Can I get like a... Yeah, okay, okay. AI2 is pretty good. I just need something for HP resource. In case we get shot in the leg. Okay, this fight happened right here to our left. Oh. Did the fight move to the fortress? Oh my gosh. Whoa. That's close. Okay, I'm gonna crawl over here. There's definitely a, uh, what is that? Is that an inf is that an ADAR? I think that was an ADAR report. Got a 10 round mag versus a probably kitted ADAR. That was tracer ammo, which means either M856A1 or M856. M856 is super, Flesh damagey and A51 or A56A1 is kind of higher pin. Well, it started raining, but it looks like it cleared up. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna peek out here. I'm just gonna wiggle in case he wants to hit me in the face. That's him right there. That's him. He doesn't see me. He was just right here. Where did he go? <sighs> ADAR. Give me the ADAR. Give me the gun. Oh, armor. Uh, bad helmet, though. Give me this. Give me that. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. <laughs> 10, 20 round mags. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just dump the backpack. We don't need that one. We're good. We're in this one. And go, go, go. We got everything we need. Get back in the bushes and figure out what we have. Oh, we. <laughs> that guy never knew we were even there. M61. 25 rounds of it. Dang. Okay. Circuit board, actually. I need that for a quest. Oh. That's Tarkov right there, boys. <clears throat> that was sketchy. Okay. Um, the ADAR is definitely a better gun right now. What rounds does he use? M856? See? I told you guys! Okay. Much better gun. 89 recoil versus 129. It's going to be a lot more precise. So I'm going to pop the uh, the red dot onto this gun. We definitely don't need the... I guess... No, we don't need the red dot because we've got iron sights on it. It's going to cover it up anyways. Did I search this? No, I did. Okay. Is this full? So there's definitely a... I think he shot and hurt a PMC over here. And now it seems like there's a PMC fight at the fortress. What's our extracts? Crossroads and Trailer Park Worker Shack. Okay, so we have to go to the other side of the map anyways. In 19 minutes. Alright, let's do it. Holy shit! What are you doing in here, bud? Oh, you seriously blacked my leg. Did I just get you? Oh, you oh what you just came and sat on the stairs just for me? Why did you have to hit me in the leg? Why are you so well kitted? K 
Okay. Just hobbling into the barn. Hello? Oh. Oh. Oh, there's a, a lot of bodies up here. Please have painkillers. Painkillers. Bandage. No, painkillers. Just need painkillers. It's got to be. Okay, Vaseline. That's a painkiller, right? Yeah, removes pain for 300 seconds. Let's go. <laughs> There's a trooper armor here. What? People just throwing stuff away, man. It's got 62 points on it. Heck yeah. I think there was a nice gun here too, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, never mind. Um, I mean, it's better than this one. It's got a 30 round mag. It's just 366. 366. Okay, there's another body over here. I just can't sprint. I gotta remember I can't sprint. I will hurt myself. Wow, this guy's kitted too. Look at this dude. Somebody real kitted went through here, cleaned up all this stuff, and left. And saved our butts by leaving. Oh, BS ammo. What? What is this? Bolts? These guys are crazy. They're leaving behind so much good stuff. Cord? Oh, yeah. I actually do need cords. I'm going to bring both of those. Um, and then this... I don't think I want anything else in here. I'm going to dump that green... Oh, there's it. R700? Okay, we're bringing that. Let's get out of here. There's even more bodies up on that side. Ugh. I know, bud. I know, but we gotta go. We, I, my curiosity is killing me. So is my sprinting. Uh, okay, that one's empty. Ooh, an M9. All right, I'm gonna. Mm, oh, oh, there's not. <coughs> it's, it's not worth it. The SMB was definitely worth more. So that's the thing. I was gonna make a video today about you know, the vector and the price of the vector and everything. But honestly, look at the stuff that we got. Uh, I can't really easily show it right now because I gotta move, but. Look at the stuff I got out of a single scav raid. Just by playing carefully, I didn't really... I mean, we didn't even have to kill that initial scav up on the bridge. And if we just happened to not run into the guy in the barn, I mean, we still would have grabbed this stuff. So if you're having money problems in Tarkov, just... The more money problems you have, just do more scav raids. Because scav raids can... If you play them carefully, you, you can't play it like a PMC. Because PMC, you can really run into fights. Because you know... I have a lot of gear, I have a lot of armor, I have a lot of meds. But a scav is exactly what it sounds like, it's a scavenger. You're you're kind of sneaking around the outsides of big firefights, not really putting yourself in unless you really need to be precise and take out the last guy or something. And you're just picking up the, you know, the leftovers. But the leftovers are still good, so when they're running out of food or running out of water at the end of a raid or they're hurt bad, or their friends are all dead and they need to get into a new raid. They're really going to be just rushing through the looting process. Two trooper armors? I mean, that's that's really, really solid. Okay, we got it all in. Got it all in. Hit that guy in the ear, that first shot. That was a good shot. Um, so yeah, we're going to try that out. We've got 115 rounds after, was that, 4 times, or 5 times 33, 5 times 3 is what, 15? So that's already 150 rounds-ish right there. Um, plus another 115 right here. So we've got a lot of ammo. But on woods, I'm going to try to play very... Especially with a vector, I'm going to be trying to play very, very carefully because it's not a long-range gun. Um, this thing is a buzzsaw. It does shoot very fast and very straight. But we're not going to be doing much damage... And we're going to have to really lay into people to to really knock them down. So we'll see how it goes. But if they get within range, <sighs> this thing shreds. So let's try it out. I'm going to grab some nades as well. We have a lot of them. You guys didn't think I would do this without the suppressor on, did you? Really? You thought I would? You guys don't trust me enough. All right, so we spawned at the, uh, at the back side, which is all right. Um, it'll be quite a run to get to easy scav kills, so I don't think scavs spawn immediately at this house here. And, oh, I've got a flashlight. Nice. Okay. Well, yeah. 
I thought to myself, if I'm gonna be trying to kill scavs without armor on, I'm gonna need to be here a while. And then also, I'm gonna need to be quiet when I'm doing so. So I decided to, uh, attach a suppressor to this thing. It wasn't very much. You can actually get one cheaper than this. This is the one with good, uh, recoil control. But there's one that was like 9, or like 15k? Like a 9 mil suppressor for 15k? This one was 27k on the market. But just look at this thing. Look at this thing. Oh. It's even got the two-tone on it. Somebody might have, uh... I don't know if you can buy that way, or if you have to buy two of them and switch it around. But if that was on purpose... The man's got style. They got style. Check this bag. Let's check if there's any extra food loot or anything. Unfortunately, this is the one bunker we don't need to go to. But there's still some... Some okay loot sometimes. Oh, what's this? Helmet? Ah, swordens. Okay. We'll keep that. So hopefully... The rain and the cloudy, overcast, foggy nature... Actually will help us here. Because we've got a shorter ranged weapon. So... Foggy and rainy and stormy... Hurts a lot of people with the longer range stuff, so we're actually kind of at the advantage for woods right now. By, uh, having the weather kind of lower the view distance a little bit. Oh, and the sound distance. It's getting a little bit louder. It's just gonna be... Yeah, because, like, that's close. That's very close. That's right here. That's a scav. not a scav. associated with this fight right now. <laughs> That's a sketchy fight. Because there's another guy off to the left that I can't even see. Listen to how many scavs there are here. Oh, somebody hit a mine. Oh, no. Watch, he'll hit another one. Dang, man. Yeah, this forest is just way too open to not want to sit in a bush. Ah. That guy's running way too far. Um... I'm gonna ignore that fight. I'm not really in this for the loot. I'm in this more for getting the scav kills. And getting into the outer edges of the map so I can get those scav kills. Person that hit the mine didn't hit a second one. Oh, this is so sketchy. It's such a silhouette game out there, you just have to stick to brush. I hear this guy shooting.
I don't know if I was hitting him or not. I'm going to flank, though. I think I hit him a decent bit there, even when he was laying on the ground. I'm just scared because there's also a person that way, too. The guy that hit the mine. Holy shit. Well, they spotted me. Oh, that was a bad nade. Whew. Okay. Use this little trench to flank a different direction. I need to repack. Make sure I have enough mags. Let's find a good spot. Nice bush. Yeah, this is a good bush. Alright. Sit here and repack. Ooh. Man, this is a very wild woods raid. <laughs> This is at 2 a.m. in Texas. <laughs> it's uh, it's getting pretty lit right now. Like, that was sketchy. I'm surprised I didn't get hit at all. I think I killed a friend and then the other friend came up because I think I was shooting at the Mosin guy. But I think an SKS shot at me. Don't know where the SKS went at all. I might go back eventually and see if that body is still there. But I think right now I'm going to focus on my objective, which is to kill scavs. I, I was trying to see if I could pick off a guy, but there's just way too many people there right now. I think the entire map of PMCs is fighting. What that does mean, though, is that while everybody's distracted dying to Sturman, I can go and hopefully get some scav kills silently without them shooting back at me. So we're going to go and run over to some, some camps where they spawn. See if we can get some kills. Dang, man. I wanted to get that guy. I wonder if I actually killed one. I mean, I sprayed into that spot where he laid down in the grass. And I heard continual hits, but I'm not sure if I hit him enough. So we're using PST, just the standard FMJ 9mm. I just don't know if that does enough damage. Do I have glasses on? I think the glasses are messing my vision. Glasses seem to make, like, smaller but more contrasty dots. And to me, that makes it a lot more difficult to see past. Oh, and they glow in fog. Yeah, definitely don't want glasses on. Okay, I'm going to see if I can kind of bait any scavs, figure out where they are, and then I'll take my armor off. Oh, I thought that was footsteps behind me. Jeez. thought I had cultists on my butt. Okay, scabs. Are you guys up here? I need to kill some of you. But you need to allow me to take my armor off first. Dang. Okay, Sturman has stopped shooting. Makes you wonder. Nobody looted this. In this map, it's like there's so much distance to travel, you kind of have to get all the drinks and stuff you can. Why did I not take that? What? I don't know what I'm thinking. Make grenades out of it. He's in a hurry. I don't even know where he went. Hey, come back. Oh, oh he like fell over forwards. Okay. So does that count as one? Let me see. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So that's how you do it. That's how you do this quest. Oh, he's got a sniper too. Might be able to get some boys. This gun is... Not a great sniper, but it it does some work sometimes. I wish they put more loot in the upper area of interchange. Oh! It can kill people if you surprise them. If you catch them off guard. <sighs> I just wonder if I should sit here and wait for more scavs to run up or if they're not going to be running up as much in the future. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, what? oh what, 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 what? I don't want you to shoot at me because I'm not going to be wearing armor, hopefully, when I engage you. 
not like marriage, but, you know, shoot with bullets. Where did you go? Where did he go? Uh, <laughs> where did you go, bud? Where did he go? Did he run away? Hey. Hey. Buddy? Where did Buddy go? Hey. Buddy? Oh no. Oh, he's gone. He ran away. Oh, I see him. He's all the way back there. He went all the way. You know what? Take the shot. Oh, mate. Oh, let him pass. Your call. <laughs> oh, we should have kept the suppressor, maybe. <laughs> thing is loud. Ooh, okay, AK-74, not bad. Anything in your backpacks? Ooh, Yushanka finding raid. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here because I shot that one shot. They probably think it's a scav, but untrained ears will think that that's like a high-powered sniper rifle. So, they'll run across the entire map for it sometimes. This is weird. I have a graphical glitch where there's that shadow from so far away. I don't know what that is. That might be a pond. Oh, he's way down there. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Actually, I'm gonna go back there. I'll try to be quiet. Well, quiet didn't work. Still got him, though. So we're three out of five scavs with no armor on. Oh! <gasps> Somebody's behind us and they're hitting mines. Oh! Interesting. Wait, that wasn't all that I just sprayed, right? Did I did I drop a... Oh, I did drop a mag. Uh-oh. They just hit two mines. They don't know where they're going. <laughs> I wonder if we should go back. Hmm. Should we go back and see if we can find that guy? He ran into two mines. He's going to be healing for about a minute. He probably doesn't have teammates. Ah, it's just the opposite direction entirely. We have a lot of food and water. I mean, I can... Yeah, we have a lot of food and water. We could... 27 minutes? Eh, I'm, I'm, I'm still going to continue with the mission, I think. I don't know. That's kind of far away, too. I'm just going to continue. It might just be a scav, too, honestly. Whoa! Whoa, 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 jeez. These guys are crazy. Um, do I have a splint? Do I not have a splint? Oh, no. Oh, crap. I don't have a splint. Problem. Hmm. Okay. Take a painkiller, too. I'm going to be in pain with this fracture. Dang it. I don't have a single splint. Wow. How did I overlook that? I've got to take my armor off. Hey, buddy. Where are you? Where'd you are you crawling? Did you move? You moved! You moved and you're so quiet. How? Oh my gosh, he had armor on. <laughs> Jeez, dude, the Taz. Splint? No, just a hot rod. <laughs> there might also be a scav in this area to our left here. But I need to find this bunker first. I think it's down here. I might have walked past it. Or is it right here? Oh no, this is the bunker for sure. It's oddly flat ground, you see this? Yep. Like, it's like fake ground. Ooh. Spooky. I'm gonna 
Actually, I should probably go clear that, shouldn't I? <laughs> I don't know why I would close it. It's not a solid door, Drew. <laughs> okay. So, last raid was kind of boring. Um, I ran inside Ollie. I grabbed the thing. I had a guy uh, run down at me. He was a hashling. I killed him. And what else happened? Uh, and then another <laughs> hashling had a friend. <laughs> had a friend shot him. Long story short, boring raid. I got my tasks done, but nothing ever really happened that was that interesting. Like, I had some people run by, and I was like, ooh, they're running by, and that was about it. So, we're in super stormy, rainy raid now. Um, and yeah, that's, 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 that's as far as the story goes. Holy shit! You are bad at the game, yes? ranged with him. Holy shit, he still sees me? Time to bolt. Can't see anything too fast, baby. Too fast for him. <laughs> <laughs> he was not the best shot. Sup, hatchling or pistoling or whatever you are. Goodbye. Sorry, you must be this geared to live through interchange, but Ooh, papush. Makarov. Okie dokie, bud. Okay, I kind of forgot what I have to do here. Um, oh yeah, I've got to go to Ollie. And I've got to kill scavs. And I also have to get a cowboy hat, so I'll probably go to main mall. Get to Ollie ASAP. I wonder what level that dude was. I, I didn't even check. But it's like, man, if if you're going on just Makarov runs, dude, just do some scav runs. Get get an AK from a scav run and then run that. You know, just do do something. Because a Makarov is not gonna, you're not gonna win any fight with a Makarov unless you're really good. That's the common mistake, is that people think, like, oh, I'm bad at the game, so I'm gonna bring bad gear, because if I bring good gear, I'm gonna lose the good gear. But it's like, well, if you bring bad gear, you're also new to the game, so you're bad too, and you're just emphasizing the badness right now. jump into that room. That's a weird angle. I brought all my keys for interchange now, so I can actually go and like Get some stuff. Definitely hear movement that way. It's all on wood. I wonder what I can hear that's wood from there. Oh, 
<laughs> I'm getting the hell out of there. Woo -wee. I'm getting the hell out of there. That was like three dudes. Oh, nope. Nope. Getting out of that situation pretty quick. No, thank you. Oh, man, like one guy would be fine dueling in there, but three. Okay, never mind. Thank you, Grenade, for saving my life. They're still throwing nades down there. They still think I'm, I'm already up above them. <laughs> I'm just going to yeet a grenade down there just to tell them, like, hey, I'm still down there with you, you know? Maybe attract some people over there, too. While I run away. He's in here. Jeez. Okay, there's a Yushanka, but I need a cowboy hat. I don't need Yushankas anymore. I don't need that in the fog. Okay, well, I'm most worried about the four-man because they obviously hear somebody upstairs now. And they're going to go investigate it, I bet. It's not them, but I thought that was going to be them, and because it's not, that gives me a chance to get out of here, so I'm going to get out of here. Oh my god! Jesus Christ, man. Need to leave now. Attracting way too much attention. You go tech check tech light really quick spark plug nice wow oh, tech light wasn't looted I just heard some sus sounds from over to the front right. Okay, well, we got the cowboy hat. And we didn't die from the four man. And we killed some scavs. So it wasn't a bad raid. Still though, I think maybe it's this just just this time of night that makes it a little bit quieter. But that's not a bad thing for us when we're trying to do quests. Uh, it just, it's also uh I'm mostly just killing scavs with the vector. I think we've killed one PMC this entire time. What's up, buddy? Been waiting a long time for you.